What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Today, we got a very special guest with us. We got Brett Hunley with us. Brett, what's up, man? What's going on, brother? Appreciate you having me on. Yeah, of course, of course, anytime. So let's jump right into it. So tell us a little bit about your foundation. Man, um, we, we, I, I got started with uh, the Hunley Foundation back in 2019. Um, growing up, my sister had epilepsy, and when she was about nine, I was about eight. Um, just seeing her battling through everything she went through. And uh, she was a huge track runner, had to stop track. And um, also her, her son, my nephew, Bala Joy, I call him, uh, he, he, he was diagnosed with infantile spasms, which is another form of epilepsy. Yeah. And uh, growing up, there, was, there, wasn't that, um, there wasn't that like sense of community uh, for us. When, we, when she was growing up in Arizona, and we were both out there and battling with something, you know, like epilepsy. Not everybody knows about it. Not every, you know, when people see a seizure, seizure, they don't really connect it to epilepsy. There's a lot of awareness that needs to be brought on uh, in society. And I just feel like we finally got that sense of family when, when I went to UCLA and we, we found out, you know, there was a, there was a um, epilepsy foundation of greater Los Angeles and we started working with the national. And then we were just sitting there rapping one day and we were like, man, why don't we create that family environment? And why don't we do something with our platform, with her story, with, you know, me and my platform, why don't we do something? And, and that's how the Helen foundation got created, man. Beautiful. So what else do you think contributed to you creating this foundation? Like outside from like, uh, in the community and like the personal story you just shared with us. Yeah, um, you know, also I wanted to, I wanted to give back. Um, mm -hmm. Not only you know we, we want to do a lot with epilepsy, but we do so much more you know than just epilepsy. You know, we have right. our walks, um, we have our poker event in Las Vegas, and Rick Harrison of the Pawn Star, he's like our national spokesperson along mm -hmm. with myself. Um, but his his uh, poker run out there and and it, and it's really like I, I was I was blessed with the opportunity to do everything that I do and still um and still doing it but there was so much that i wanted to touch in communities disenfranchised communities um that that we want that i wanted to do and that you know i knew the right people and for for us to be able to do it and with with what i've been blessed to do play football make money um yeah. i realized that you know this game ends fast and i want to be able to create more than just i want to do more than just play football i want i want people to know me for the good work i'm doing and 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 for the for for those I'm able to help out, and uh, that that's really man what kickstarted all of this. And even um, man, we just started this program. It's called the Eisner Fatherhood Program, nice. and um, we we launched up with them uh, out in California here. Uh, and it's a 12 week program for new fathers. It's free, and it's it it breaks down everything from childhood to how to interact with your kids to how to interact with your significant other. And it, it's a beautiful program. It just started. The first class is going. And we do so much outside of that. We, we have scholarships at Chandler High School. We have an internship program at EMU right now. We just came out with a scholarship program for, for uh, military spouses. Um, and that was going towards Harrison Sr., Rick's father who passed away. We named it after him. And um, there, there's just a lot, man. I, I'm telling you, we, we really just try to give back what we see fit. Yeah. And uh, like I said, it's not just epilepsy, but it's bigger than that. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of places that I felt like we could we could help out. And so we're, I'm blessed to do it. We're all blessed to do it. And so that's that's really the main points. Yeah, and that's a beautiful thing. You know, outside of like your impact on the football field, you want to have that impact off the field as well. So more all along and gone, your name still resonates in neighborhoods and communities for the work you've been doing with your life, you know? Yeah, so, man, um, it's crazy. Yeah. So how else can people get involved? Like, what can people do? Uh, man, if, 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 like, if you want to help out, if any of y'all watching want to help out, um, the first thing is, 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 you know, um, just following the Instagram, Honey Foundation, uh, the Honey Foundation, and, you know, you'll be able to stay up to date on stuff like that. But the second thing is, you know, it's not, it's not necessarily that, you know, obviously donating is an easy, easy way, but it's not about that. It's not about the money. It's really about, you know, if you, if you can volunteer, if you can show up to an event, if you, if you can volunteer and help your time, those are huge ways outside of the, you know, financial parts of donating that you can help out and give, give, give back. But because this, this family we're building is really, that's, that's the, that's what this foundation is all about. It's just building that family and having that network of people um, who are willing to help, willing their time, their effort to do these things and, and give back in, in our events and stuff like that. And we're based in California, Nevada yeah. and Arizona. So those are our three main spots where we're working at really heavy. And so it's just been a blessing. Nice. So, you know, things are opening back up. People are taking trips now. I remember them airplanes is real, like, real quiet. <laughs> like, we breathe. Now they all booked. So, do you have any travel? Yep. You know, we hear, I hear you a big traveler. 
you know, you climb Machu Picchu, that's a big deal. So tell us about that. <laughs> Man, um, you know what's crazy? This year, uh, just uh, uh, last month, I finally got to all the seven world wonders in the world. Knock right. them all out, man. Mm-hmm. And and Machu Picchu was one of them, but the last one I had to go to was the Coliseum. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and I knocked that out. And now that things are back open, I was able to go to um, go go to Rome, go to uh, hop around Europe. I was able to go to Dublin, uh, Belgium, yeah. uh, Vatican, which is its own country in itself. But, it, you know, um, so it's just, it's just I, I love traveling. In the off season, man, I'm telling you, I used to take a backpack and I don't, I don't check no bags, man. I'll take a backpack. And I would just hit the road and I'll be gone for two or three months at a time, man, and just travel, see the world. And there's, you know, there's just so much to see out here. Mm-hmm. And, and, and it's truly, and also, I mean, obviously we're blessed to live in the U S but man, there's so much to learn and do yeah. outside of here. And so mm-hmm. it's, it's been an awesome opportunity. Yeah. It's been an awesome opportunity of just learning. And you know, when you're outside too, it's not, you know, it's, people don't know you for you, you know, yeah, I'm sure yeah. people hear me, but they, they see me and they understand that like, you know, I'm just, I'm just out here having a good time. And, you know, it's, it's, it's truly awesome. Yeah, there's a whole lot yeah. to see outside of like the U.S. So, so yeah. Much, but yeah. So how's yeah. your options been going? Man, it, it's, it's, it's been going really well, man. Um, you know, I'm out here actually crazy. It's, it, I just came back. I'm at, I'm out here at UCLA and mm-hmm. I went to the first practice today. I haven't been back in a while, so it's been nice just to travel and stuff like that. But um, it, it's, it's been good, man. Just back in Arizona, really uh, doing a lot of stuff with real estate and mm-hmm. outside of football, the foundation um, and Turo. <laughs> um, yep. So it's been cool building, uh, building a, a brand, companies, uh, foundation uh, outside and still training. You know, I do my high yoga, I stay in shape, and, and I run. Absolutely. A last question. Yeah. Uh, what can we expect from you this season? Man, y'all can expect a lot. Look at yeah. wherever I'm at, whoever I'm with. Um, you know, I always give them all like 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 every everything I do. But it's it's crazy. I'm going into year eight in the NFL. Year eight, and it, it's been it's been an awesome journey. And, um, you know, I'm excited for what's to come. And I'm excited to get out there, play some ball, and have some fun, honestly. Absolutely. Cool. You know, with Community Voices, with JD and Finish Line, our goal is to elevate voices like yours, especially people in positions who have, like, yeah. the financial means to really give back and serve the community. Yeah. So we want to thank you for the work you've been doing and make a donation to your foundation on our behalf. To the foundation. Yeah. Doing. So, Brett, thank you so much for the time, man, and the work you've been doing in the community. Man, thank you so much. And, and honestly, this this whole series you guys are doing, that's that's awesome, man. It's cool to see, you know, this this type of interaction, put players on platforms where they can showcase, you know, their stuff. So so seriously, thank you guys, man. I really appreciate it. Pleasure is ours. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cool. Thank you. Always, brother. Thank you. Yes, sir.